Hello, my friends. So, uh, a lot of people told me in the comments to go and watch Man's video on, on a, a specific piece of gear, Varmint's Lucky Hat. And when I saw the title of the video, I didn't even watch the full video. I, I, I totally, I, I understand, I understood immediately what Man did with this piece of gear. And it blew my mind. And if you haven't seen his video, I'm gonna link it in the description. You, you can watch his take on this. I haven't watched it just so I can give you my uh, reaction and uh, the idea how I think this is done. So, let's get into it. Varmint's Lucky Hat. When I first saw a description for this piece of gear, I was like, this is not that good. Now, look at this. Maxed out ability. All opponent's team's characters need to collect 30% more power to fill up each power bar. That is barely does anything. Honestly, in my opinion, it just doesn't make a difference. Even you would probably think this is going to be good in enraged battles, right? So they will like have to use more, uh, generate more power. But it, honestly, the in enraged battle, the difference is like one hit. They will need one extra hit to fill up a bar of power, which is not going to make much difference. And this is a maxed out ability. But the best part about it is not its maxed out ability. Uh, Team Shield, I'm not gonna lie, Team Shield is pretty useful. Very useful. If you max it out, you can pretty much maintain shield almost all the time. Which is crazy. But, we are here for his first ability. 16% chance to steal 2% of opponent's max power on basic attacks. Now, when I initially read it, I was like, 16%... 2% of max power. You're barely gonna do any power draining whatsoever. It's not gonna make any difference at all. But the thing is, it's not even gonna be enough to counteract the power that they generate from you hitting them. But what I did miss is that the power drain is not the important part. The fact that there is any kind of power drain means that I need to completely redo my talent tree. <laughs> Weak! Point attacks talent. Power Drain has 20% chance to snare. Which means, doesn't matter that it's only 2%. We're, we're going to be doing Power Drains not for Power Drains. We're going to be doing... It's 40% actually. We're going to be doing Power Drains for the chance to snare. As you know, Injustice 2 Raiden basically generates constant Power Drain, which allows him to uh, snare people all the time. Now we can do it with... Any character, absolutely any character. Let me demonstrate. Now, I kind of want to feel... Uh, I kind of want to try this with uh, Classic Kano because I feel like there is going to be uh, an insane synergy there. So if the attack is blocked by an opponent, he's going to stun them. But if not, if he power drains him, he's going to also snare them. So le le let's try this out. I'm kind of curious how this is going to work. Like, I don't really care who else is in my team. We're going to be trying this. Classic Kano. With Varmint's lucky hat. Technically. Oh my god. How are you giving me these enemies? I don't have any gear on, man. Come on, game. Be reasonable. The point is, I think now with weak point attacks and that piece of gear, again, at any fusion, even at fusion zero, it's just the higher fusion, the higher your chance to snare people or power drain people is going to be. But let's see if this is works. And let's see if this works when the attacks are blocked. I'm kind of curious. Okay, we stun them. Power Drain, okay, and Snare! <laughs> this is incredible, and this guy is snared, so we're gonna be finish him, finishing him off. Multiple Power Drains, pa again, Power Drain, as you see, doesn't do anything. The amount that it Power Drains is disgustingly low. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous how low the amount it power drains is. I'm gonna take out just so... I just need to kill the scorpion with something more stronger. The power drain doesn't matter whatsoever. What matters is that it actually triggers weak point attacks. This actually means... Look at that! Snare! Snare! Power Drain! Snare! 
But look at how much power is getting removed. It like it's it's barely it's barely noticeable. But those snares are incredible. Oh my god, my, my, my thing is lagging a lot. Sorry about that. I just keep them stunned all the time. What the hell? Get wrecked, son. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't. Come on, man. I wanted to have some fun. Doesn't want to let me get fun. Ooh, that is a big lag. What the hell is happening? All right, so do you realize the possibility of this? You can, especially in the current tower, if you have that piece of gear, you have to get yourself weak point attacks in a talent tree. It's just too broken not to use it. You are literally going to be, it's a free snare. You don't even have a snare character. If I need to check my beginner account, if I have this piece of gear, I'm, I'm going to put myself weak point attacks and it's going to solve all my problems. Well, not all my problems, because that snare and power drain is going to be definitely reflected back to me at battle 80 in the tower, because that battle is just freaking cursed. But this, if you're stuck, if you're missing, like, if you cannot finish your enemies, they take out, if it's like regeneration or anything where you don't want your enemies to take out, this is literally a free snare on any character you want. Just give him any fusion varmints like he had, and you're going to be snaring left and right and snare is one of the most useful debuffs and if you don't have a good snare like injustice raiden or D dark emperor looking somebody who can like consistently dish out snares all the time this is it and even if you do still why not you're going to be using this piece of gear for extra health or damage so why not uh wh why not uh, give him ability to to snare people this this game is laggy all right, this boy is snared now. It's pretty much, it's not guaranteed snare, but like the chance of getting it before your enemy takes out is so high, almost as high as dying to this stupid, stupid Kintaro. Okay, we're gonna do it for the last time. There's a little bit of sound lag. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, tr I'm gonna try to fix it. I don't know what's happening with my phone right now. Oh, God. Come on, snare this man. Hell yeah. Look at that snare. That was fantastic. Another snare. For free. Impressive. Oh, my balls. Come on, dude. That wasn't cool. Impressive. Aaron Black is going to clean up. Don't worry about it. Again, using this in Kano probably wasn't the best idea. Especially without any other gear. Like, that was stupid. I just I just wanted to see what's going to happen. I was just curious what was going to happen if you use in Classic Kano. Because you get... Uh, if it's not blocked, you, you power drain and snare. If you block, you stun. That was a lot of fun. Probably not the best case scenario. But again, it's going to work on any character. And if you use it on a power drainer, for example, you're using Combat Cop Johnny Cage, you still need to have weak point attacks so you can have those free snares on his special ones. But now with this gear, you're going to have additional chance to get a free snare on any basic hit. Like, why not take it? It's free. It's, it's free. Just take it. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out Man's channel. The link is in the comments. He is a great MK Mobile YouTuber. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, members and patrons. You guys are the best. And goodbye.